Hi guys, Virtus Education here with episode 15 of the HTML web programming tutorial series. And in today's episode, I'm going to be introducing you to divs. Uh, divs, uh, divs is essentially short for divisions. Now, divs essentially allow you to split up your website uh, in terms of structure. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and break up my website into the header, the content area, and the footer, and I can position it really well. I can play around with a whole bunch of different properties that I do not have available to me uh, using the old school method of creating a website using uh, tables which I showed you in the previous video. So let's show you some of the stuff that we can actually do with divs. So for example I'm just going to bring up this website I made here uh, during college to show you what divs can do. So first and foremost I've got four divs in this web page. The first one for the navigation bar and that navigation bar essentially uh, so the navigation bar div contains all the elements within it and then I've got a div for the footer down here and those elements would be uh, little social media icons that I got down here and the elements in the navigation bar would be stuff like the inputs I've got here the buttons and so on and so forth then I've got two further divs here for content the first one being for the image here and the text then I've also got one for these little images here too and I can position these really well and style them and do a whole bunch of other stuff. So just quickly take a look at the code to see how my divs are actually structured in this website that I have here. So I actually have it open in a little another uh, notepad plus plus window and you can see here that pretty much the structure of this website is build, uh, uh, built up by uh, divs. So you can see here the first div well the first important div here is for the navigation bar so I've just essentially used open div and then close div and then inside of that I've just programmed in all of my different little elements here and I've also given this div an ID uh, which I can play around with in CSS to set the position the height and so on and so forth so there's the div for the navigation bar I've also got one for the footer down here with all of its elements inside of it the social media icons uh, with their little links as I said previously then I've got the stuff for the content area and so on now pretty much most modern websites are going to be built up in this way so let's just go ahead and close this and uh, start building some of our own divs uh, and playing around with the properties now for the most part I'm not going to be showing you and teaching you CSS so you can modify uh, your divs in this episode however I will be dedicating an entire series to CSS so you can play around with this stuff so you can see here I've got my little div tags the first one is for the header the second one's for the uh, content area and the third one is for the footer and you can see I've just got my content in here now the content in this case is just going to be a whole bunch of text if you wanted to you could put images inside of here you could put text inside of here you could put some kind of inputs or whatever elements you want to pretty much anything can go inside of a div now you can also see I've got I've added little IDs here so I can actually style them and position them in in CSS as I have done over here so you can see here I can very easily change say the height and the background color of these and I'm also going to be playing around with a few different properties so you can see here the header which is this one here I have given a height of 5% the content area I've given a height of 25% and the footer is 5% and you can see I've changed the colors and you can see that's represented here on my live website that you can see so let's just go ahead and uh, show you how we can play around with positioning of these elements uh, which you can't really do as well in uh, as well or as quickly as um, you know you can do with you know say tables tables is slow and tedious whereas this is really quick so for example if I wanted to have a little bit of a gap in between the header and the content area I could quickly just type in margin top and then 5% and then just boom like that and it should have a little gap in between it and I can do that for each of these different little elements if I wanted to so margin top 5% 
and boom and you can see it has gone in just like that and I can also very quickly play around with the height so say if I wanted the height of the content area to be 35% instead of 25% I could go ahead and do that just like that and we can also play around with things like padding or so on so let's just go ahead and do that inside of here inside of the content area I'm just going to set the padding to 2% and it's going to move all the elements inside of it around and that just goes to show how quickly and easily you can modify your divs and use them for the structure of the website so that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you with divs now keep in mind as I said previously I will be dedicating an entire series to CSS where we'll be showing you how to um, you know position and style your divs and hopefully you should be able to create something a little bit similar to the website that I made during college uh, that I showed you previously so thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.